So, for Shakespeare Month, I wanted to drop off a bunch of Shakespeare books in little free libraries that I find. And I have my son with me, so you'll hear him in the back. So, first we have Othello, the 1993 edition of the New Folgers Library. Oh, and there's a black cat crossing my path. I love the cats in the city. And then I have Much Ado About Nothing and King Lear in the 1960 New Folgers Library Edition. Well, not New Folgers, regular Folgers Library Edition. And I have Romeo and Juliet and A Midsummer Night's Dream in the Signet Classic Edition from what year? I think it's probably the 60s too. Yep. From, or the 80s actually. From the 80s. And so basically I just went to one of my favorite uh, used bookstores and got some of my favorite uh, Shakespeare plays in some of my favorite editions. So now I am going to try and find five little free libraries to put each of these books in. So we have here another really adorable little free library. It's all wood and it's got all these flower stickers on it and flower on the handles and more roses on each side. Let's take a look with what we got in here. So a few books in here, and including James Patterson. I love it. It's like all wood. I love that. Um, so the book I'm going to put in here is Romeo and Juliet, and I'm going to do that one because of all the roses that are on the side of it. I love it. And we have another little free library, and actually it is right in the line of sight of the other one. You can't tell, but it's where that like tan van was down there. This one is red and black. It's got a nice black roof very like ooh what's that that's new i haven't seen that on any of the other little free libraries so that's cool okay open it up see what we've got in here uh i don't think i've actually heard of any of these books and I don't see any that I really need. And then the one that I'm gonna put in is the King Lear. And we'll just tuck it in right there. And that way some more people can get Shakespeare for their life. And here we are. This is one of the few little free libraries that I've seen that are actually facing in the street, or like not facing the street. So it's got, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a little nest in the top part with little fake birds and got all the colors and it had scrabble pieces on the back. And let's see what we've got in here. Ooh, they have Pride and Prejudice, which I actually still need to read that. So I'm going to look at that and see if it's one that I would want. And my, so they've got some really famous ones in here. So the one I'm going to put in here is A Midsummer Night's Dream. And we'll just tuck that in right there. We have a nice colorful little free library here this time. And I love it. It's kind of a new shape. It's got, ooh, that's cool. The whole back is, yeah, those are the cans, are like soda cans. So that is super cool. And it actually opens from the opposite side than I used to. So let's pull this right open. It's got nice carpeting inside. Let's see what book we've books we've got. And then the book that I'm gonna put in is Much Ado About Nothing. So I'm just gonna tuck it in right there. There we go. Can you see what I see? What is that? Oh, that's cool. Okay, I might have to get that for my son. So here we have an, uh, another absolutely gorgeous wooden little free library that I thought to check because there's a park. And so I slowed down because there's always little free libraries near parks. So let's see if we can get this little latch here. Let's see what we've got inside. More absolutely gorgeous wood. The book that I am putting in is New Folgers Othello. So I'll just put that right there. Here's the paper thing. Okay, 
and we'll close this up maybe possibly but yes I love the wood and I love the wood also matches the house beautiful beautiful mm -hmm.